Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Polaroid Now Generation 2. Got this in the black color. It is beautiful. It is sleek. It's my favorite color here. But um, before we really begin, I do not see a lot of changes on here. Um, let's get to the very first big change, and that is USB-C on the side if it ever wants to focus, this is a USB-C port instead of the micro USB that they were using here. And as I have these two cameras here side by side, I just want to ask you which one is which. Branding is gonna be different, the USB-C is gonna be different, and there's one more thing that's different that you may not instantly see, but that is, and first just let me let you know, this is an aftermarket, also made by Polaroid, but it is a neck strap. And for all Polaroid cameras, they came with a very thin and not so comfortable, but it still came with a neck strap. The new Polaroid Now and Now Plus does come with a wristlet only. And for me, I am not a fan of using a neck strap. But in its absence, I see now that it was good to at least have that because when you're walking around with a camera as big as this, you need to have some way to kind of like have this on your body, either kind of like as a crossbody like this or just around your neck. And when I saw the package, I was like, am I missing the actual neck strap? It's just a wristlet. You can't carry this around with just a wristlet. Um, the Polaroid Go, which is a much smaller camera, comes with just a wristlet, but it is, honestly, that's kind of all you need. It's a much smaller camera. Having the neck strap, I think, is optional in that case. And I'm not sure what they're saving with this or if they just want to put a more premium feeling product because I have to say the, the wristlet here is of a thicker, kind of spongier material than I really wish I had one of the old neck straps. I don't think I have, oh wait, I do. Look at it, it's right here, it's just hanging. This is one of the neck straps that was included with the, um, with the old Polaroid, we'll call them now Generation 1. Um, you can see it's very, very thin. If this is around your neck, it's gonna dig into your neck if it's going back and forth, it's very rough, but still, it's a neck strap and as far as I can tell, you, yeah, you, you need a neck strap with this because it's a big camera body and yeah, just not really gonna work out. All right, but let's look at the pictures. Um, if you wanna see the quality of images, I took a lot on the Polaroid Now Plus and the quality of these two came out a, almost exactly the same. So I'm gonna show you the black and white images because black and white on Polaroid I think looks beautiful. It does work better with light, but I do want to say something that I think is consistent through both of these cameras and it's that the first shot I took on both of these cameras came out overexposed and I'm not sure why. Right now I was shooting outside my window. Um, it's a gray cloudy day and I believe it did overexpose this area here. I think there should have been more contrast here. You can see this in black and white. You can see here's the color film version. I tried to take almost the same picture, but very blown out. The lights, or sorry, the colors in here, just, they're not exactly, I mean, when you get a Polaroid, you get this because you don't know what you're gonna get every single time. It's more of like an artsy, not very consistent camera, but that's kind of the fun with it. It's big in terms of the way that it captures and the format, but um, it's not something that does particularly well with light. And again, I think having black and white and just shooting black and white, it just makes everything much, much crisper. But again, you can just see how blown out that was on here. So we're gonna go to the next picture, which is of this setup right here. And you can see how crisp it is. This, been, this has been developing for maybe about two hours at this point. I think it looks really good. It did not focus on the camera. It focused on, there's like a, a paper towel rack in the background, but it is a much crisper, clearer picture. And I really like this every time I take black and white. I, I love black and white. I really wish the color 
was like this, but it's a different process. It's a different material. That's just what it is. Now for this, this is me. Um, the camera is actually exposing the background as best that it can. And looking at this in real life, it is a dark picture. Um, I wish this would have exposed brighter in real life because I was taking this with, uh, I have large windows here. It's basically a giant light box. And even if it's gray and cloudy, a lot of light is still coming in. The flash should fire. Background is very, very dark. I am, I can see more exposure here than in real life with this. It's a very, very dark image. And I really wish that this could do better with what it had. Just have it naturally expose uh, to one more stop. And I think that would have been a lot better. Um, the next one is a little bit different because there's a filter set that does not come with the Polaroid Now but it does come with the Polaroid Now Plus. And I wanna kinda of show you, I don't have the filter with me right now, but for example, this is the lens cap of the Polaroid Now Plus. It is bigger than this. The filter size is also the same size. I found out that you can literally just kind of hang the filters like this and it kind of acts in the same way. So this is why this picture that I took here looks a little bit like if you would, were, were to have used Glimmer Glass, um, if you know Glimmer Glass and Cinebloom, it is just a way that, see look, this is with nothing, no filter, and then look at kind of like the dreaminess that comes with this Cinebloom filter. And I think this is really nice. Um, I know this has no relation because you, don't, do, you do not get this filter set with the Now Plus, but maybe you can buy something like secondhand or, you can buy a filter set somewhere else. I really wish that that prism was not so prismy, and I, I, but I do like what it did here in black and white. It just kind of looks noir, if that makes any sense. I like that picture so, so much. And um, didn't we do this one already? Yeah, we did do this one already. So this is the, yeah, again, the first picture we took that is outside. And I would consider this overexposed for just what it is. I did not force the flash to fire. I actually turned that one off. But it just, in terms of what we have for the new, new generation here, they're not really doing much. And in my case where you don't get the neck strap and I'm gonna have to go out and get a neck strap, even though I have an extra one here, I can just use that. Not having a neck strap really does kind of take away. Adding USB-C is great because no longer do I need other cables. Um, it just, it's not doing enough to be called a generation two product. I don't even know if you can hear the noise outside. It's pretty loud out there. I have a mic, so hopefully no issue there. But one thing I do want to applaud them for is I believe both of the bodies, the Now and the Now Plus, are now made with 40% recycled plastic, which is great. And in their packaging, which I don't have right here right now, um, they use a lot of... On this one, it's odd. They still use plastic to cover this one up. They use a little paper tie to bundle the USB-C cord, and they use regular stickers to kind of seal the box. For the Now Plus, they have paper stickers, and I believe a more um, eco-friendly wrap on the camera. And again, it has that little twist tie, paper twist tie for the USB-C. But it is great that now these are being made with 40% recycled plastic. But again, if you have the generation one and you're like, oh, should I get the new one? Something just fell. Um, no, you really don't need to get it. Nothing, really, really not enough has been changed where this is gonna be something that is, is just wor more worthwhile. I would say get a generation one at discount get it on sale because they're probably trying to like get rid of the old models before the new ones come in. But yeah, there is really not enough in both models, the Now and the Now Plus, to say that if you have the first one to get the second one. And that's disappointing. Instant cameras are one of the biggest things out there right now. Um, 
with 35 millimeter with 35 millimeter photography doing so well but a lot of people being priced out of it with the price increases um, instant film has not gone up in price the camera body i believe has gone up in price a little bit but just I, I think they should have done more. If you saw my other video, um, the Instax Mini, the Fujifilm Instax Mini, just came out with a new one, the 12, which enhanced contrast and helped with like a parallax co correction with the, um, with the selfie um, mode. And I thought that was something that was, at least they did something. For me, again, I don't think that's enough for me to upgrade from my 11 to the 12, but again, even less, and this is really unfortunate to say, even less um, of a need to upgrade from the Generation 1 product to the Generation 2 product. But I really want to hear what you have to say. Put everything in the comment section below. I think it is great as, like, if you are, if you don't have an instant camera, go get this one because you're going to love shooting with instant film because it is ready really, really quick. Another thing with black and white film is that um, it develops a little bit quicker than color film. This is just an example of everything that I've taken here. But that is it. All right, guys, again, put everything in the comment section below. Don't forget them on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Got to get that thumbnail. Got to get the thumbnail right here. See you guys.